Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about scrub radius, what it is and how it affects vehicle dynamics. So what it is is essentially the distance between where the steering axis or kingpin axis intersects the ground versus where the tire center line intersects the ground. So if this axis intersects the ground to the left of the tire center line, if we're looking at the back of the vehicle and this is the right side, so this is our inside suspension here, uh, if that's on the inside where that intersects, then that's going to be a positive scrub radius. If you have like the example here with the McPherson strut, uh, where that kingpin axis, uh, the, basically the point where the tire is going to be rotating around when you steer it, uh, is outside of that tire center line, then that's going to be called a negative scrub radius. And then of course if they intersect, that's going to be a zero scrub radius. So why would you want one of these? Um, it is, tends to be more common with a double uh, wishbone, double A-arm suspension to have positive. With negative, it'll tend to be uh, with a McPherson strut. Uh, but what are some of the reasons for this? So let's look at braking, for example. So here we have this tire right here. We're looking down at it in braking. And so what happens is, here you have the center point of the tire, that red dot, and then here you have the point at which this tire pivots. Uh, and so as you brake, you can see that's going to create a moment and want to pull this tire around. So this is our braking moment here in green. The tire is going to want to rotate. And so if that's the front tire of your car and you're braking, then as you can see, it's going to want to kind of bend out. And so it's going to cause it to tow out under braking. Now under acceleration, it'll do the opposite if it's front wheel drive. So as you can see, if you have a, a force uh, that's going to be pushing this tire forward, then this point right here is going to pivot around and so you're going to have toe in. Now if it's rear wheel drive, you're going to be pushing the front tires back, uh, just like essentially if you were braking, so you're going to have toe out. And the opposite is true uh, if you have negative. So as you can see here, you've got your red dot, you've got your moment about uh, the point at which it rotates. So under heavy braking, uh, the braking force there in purple, you're going to have toe in. So those two front wheels are going to want to bend in. Under acceleration, they're going to want to toe out from the moment created because of that scrub radius. So under braking, um, a common reason that negative scrub radius is used is because under braking, or if you have split mu braking, which I'll explain in a moment, um, it's it basically going to be more stable, more safe to do. And so what we have here is our positive uh, scrub radius. And so what's going on here, we have the point at which it's going to pivot, the tire's going to pivot. So let's say one of your braking systems fails and typically what they do is they cross them uh, for stability. So you have braking uh, in your front right tire and braking in your left tire. That other system failed so you don't have braking. So you have a small braking force from the rear tire and because you have so much load transfer to the front, the front tire is gonna be doing most of the braking. So as you can see here, you have an imbalance. And so this large braking force here is going to counter this small braking force here. And your vehicle is going to want to rotate like this. Well, the other downside is because you have a positive scrub radius, you're going to have this moment. And so the steering moment is also going to want to rotate that same direction. So the car is going to want to pivot in that direction, turn off and get seriously off course. Um, of course, exaggerated, these are going to be small uh, and it's not going to be super dramatic unless you have a super dramatic scrub radius, but nevertheless, it's going to be less stable. Now, if you have a negative scrub radius, uh, for example, in this uh, example we have here, so you've got more braking up front and as we had here, the, the moment of the car is going to want to rotate like this. However, because we have negative uh, scrub radius here, that front tire wants to tow in. So it wants to counter that rotation. So your steering moment is going to be in the opposite direction. And so as you're braking and coming to a halt, your steering wheel is going to want to counter uh, the car going to the other direction. And so it's going to basically brake in a straighter line than if you used a positive scrub radius. So that's one of the benefits of it. Another benefit of it is it can reduce torque steer uh, in front wheel drive vehicles. Um, and so that's another benefit of doing that. Now, if you have zero scrub radius, uh, something called squirm can happen. And so essentially what's happening here is you've got your pivot point, which is in the very center of the tire. Your contact patch uh, has even amounts of contact on either side of where that pivots. And so in a straight line, this is totally fine. It's stable. It works out great. 
but in a corner what can happen is you can have a little bit of steering instability because essentially the right side is moving faster than the left side you've got almost even uh, distribution here but the right side wants to move faster than the inside and so it's kind of like a lock differential in that sense uh, where the outside wants to move faster than the inside and so you have a little bit of squirm uh, and it can cause some instability in the steering wheel and it can also cause a little bit of additional wear now the goal overall is to get the scrub radius pretty low. You don't want to have it too much. Now a little bit of scrub radius can help with steering feel and feedback, uh, but too much and you get these excessive forces. So the goal is to get it basically at zero or close to zero, a small amount uh, could be helpful in emergency situations like this, uh, but you don't want to have a ton of steering influence uh, based on what's happening. So if you're accelerating, you don't want to have a lot because it's going to want to change the wheel. Uh, or if you're braking really heavily, you don't want to have a lot because it's going to change the wheel, the steering wheel. And so the other example I was talking about split mu braking. So this is if, let's say, the left surface or the left tires of your vehicle are on, um, let's say, the asphalt. You start to go off the road a little bit. Um, and then the right side isn't on pavement or something like that, well, you're going to have instability and it's going to be a very similar situation to what we have here, uh, where you're going to want to have a negative scrub radius in order to help keep it straight versus having it like this, where it's going to want to veer to a different direction. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.